Hello my lovely more thoughts. Welcome back to my channel. It's more of a gamer here with another video so i've got a list here about like 10 things that i would like you to do that will hopefully make your sims game run faster now i want to do a bit of a disclaimer here first like this isn't a miracle worker if you have a hundred gigabytes worth of cc and if you're gaming on an old dinosaur of a computer there's only so much that we can do here today most of this comes down to what it is that you're using what you're running the sims game on on, like the extra stuff that you download and, and all that yada yada that plays a big part in this but hopefully this will help some of you guys out let's get into this video i'm excited first things first i want to go over the minimum specifications this is kind of your starting point but for the future because i know it's a weird time right now or if you're looking to upgrade your computer whichever whatever you just want to know you should check out you know, the minimum specs that are required to run the sims 4 so this is what you need minimum they have also listed the recommended specs for you and they have it for both mac and pc if you don't know have no idea what your computer is running what it is that you've got built in to your pc i would suggest going to your settings your system and like down here in the little about section down here it will then give you your device specifications so you'll see here the processor that i'm running my ram it doesn't say my graphics card but this is just one option you could always download cpuz it's free we love free around here and this will actually go in more in depth and read out what it is that you're working with so this is more in depth and it'll actually give me my graphics card as well um i will leave all this where my pc is from just in case because i get a lot of questions about this but it'll be linked down in the description you know down in the more info section of the video down below that's where this will be so just in case you guys are wondering now my next suggestion is to go into settings i truly vouch for this i'm blocking it right now but as you can see right here in the application settings you want you want to go in the application settings then go all the way to origin in game and then where it says enable origin in game you're going to turn that off most likely it should be on because i remember turning mine off and now it's locked which i find interesting but either way it's cool i want it off anyways I don't know what it is about being online, but I found, especially with my older PC, because I do have a new PC, and this PC is a beast of a computer, and it can handle a lot more, but what I noticed before, previously, is whenever I had the online origin stuff enabled, it would stutter my game. I don't know why, and as soon as I would log off, I felt like it would speed up the game a lot more. I don't know if there's actual proof behind this, but this is something that I would do, and I think it has helped me and caused my game to stutter a little less. So just go ahead and do that. If you ever wanted to log on to Origin, it'll just tell you that it's gonna access the online stuff and you like give it the go and then you can go online, browse Origin if you want to, download some new sims, some new lots. It's cool, but for the most part, I leave mine off. Now this next mod, this is my spreadsheet where I keep all my mods. I just like to be organized and stuff. You'll see that I have a lot of mods that I have in my game but this mod I've had for a very very long time it is called the no intro mod it's listed number two and this list has been here for a long time so you know that it's a must-have this is the no intro mod so if your game's already booting up and it's taking forever the last thing you want is to see that intro pop up I don't know if y'all like who really needs that like do you always need the ea intro the maxis intro to load up in your sims game i don't know about you but like i don't need it i get it like i i, I know who this is by okay six years in i know so i don't think you need it obviously it's gonna add to your wait time of loading up the sims i had a lot of custom content when i was playing with my old pc it took forever i think it takes it took me about five minutes five maybe ten it felt like ten i'm not sure i never really timed it but it took me a while to load up my game so the last thing i wanted was another a, an intro to make that time that much longer so this will just take that out you're gonna load up your game you're not gonna see an intro so i would suggest this definitely not gonna help it run faster but it'll definitely help <laughs> 
you when you're loading it up and that will make that process faster now the next one is the seriously sim simulation lag i've had this again for a while it's number 33 on my list this was previously maintained by xerox this should eliminate or at least alleviate your sims kind of bobbing about not doing anything kind of stuck in that simulation i know you know what i'm talking about especially if you clicked on this video your sims are just kind of stuck doing nothing for hours especially if you're on times three so this happened a lot to me i will say this is not a like a miracle worker but it will help you out but one thing to know to know right here it says I'll scoot this over so you guys can see but it says if you use mc command center to adjust the game time speed in the game manually do not use this mod so if you're gonna go about changing like the in-game speed this is not gonna be for you <laughs> and then that brings us to the last thing that we're gonna download for this video i swear it is a simulation unclogger by turbo driver i'm a fan i'm a fan already <laughs> this one was brought to my attention a couple of months ago by one of my viewers on twitch by the way i stream i stream tuesdays thursdays and saturdays you can catch me on those days i just have to plug that in real quick but so this simulation unclogger is basically the same thing it's a script that detects when a sim causes the simulation to get stuck rendering the game unplayable and attempts to fix it again this mod does not fix inherent issues that is causing the sims to get stuck but provides a remedy for it so it, it is trying to provide some help to you so i would definitely suggest also downloading this and they do work together so you can download simulation lag fix and the unclogger now the next one is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea this is just the way that it is if you are experiencing a lot a lot of lag you got a lot of cc in there i went through this at one point i was really distraught and sad at the thought that i maybe had to go in and change some of my graphics so i love running my game on ultra who wouldn't who wouldn't just love having everything just checked off high 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 ultra mode everything you know as high as it can be but sometimes that's not always gonna be the case and sometimes you're just gonna have to cut down and i would suggest messing around i think these are all great starting points the low low medium like the ones they already have for you but i will say you can mess around with some stuff if you want your sims to look really good but everything else kind of boo-boo you can go ahead and do that and turn everything off it just depends on what it is that you want you can go ahead and customize mix and match but if you feel like your your computer cannot handle your sims and it needs a little bit of a breather i would look into i would look into lowering some of the graphics it could help you out in the long run and help your game just run a little bit more smoother also i have heard that if you run your uh your sims on windowed full screen it tends to be a little bit laggy i don't know why that is i've heard i'm not 100 okay i'm just here to pass along some information that i've heard but apparently full screen works a little bit better it's less glitchy I don't know take that as you will <laughs> okay this is the next one and this one irks me like no other okay if you are playing your game with custom content there is no reason no reason why this should be turned on and this is the the view custom content the show at startup checked oh that bugs me i will watch some people sometimes you know i'd be lurking and i'd be watching people and they have they will load up their game and what's the boom the first thing that appears is this mods list why would you do that to yourself especially if you have a good amount because that means that you're loading up your computer and you're making the the, the game load up every single dang item that you have and like then you're just making the whole process long like why would you do that <laughs> you already know what you have in game just mark that off check it off and you're good i don't know why that one irks me like no other probably because like like i said you already know what you have do you really need it to pop up it might be an oversight but i've seen that time and time again so just check it off give your sims game and your pc a bit of a breather for this next one what you're gonna need is sims 4 studio i will leave a link to where you can find this down below it's 
It's available for both Windows and Mac. So Mac users, you don't have an excuse because you got this right here, but you're gonna want to download this. This is gonna be a big lifesaver. I think this is one of the more important ones in this whole video. It really is, and it's definitely a lifesaver. It was for me, and I'm not gonna go in depth with this i will give you kind of a gist of how this works if you want i can do a video in the future explaining how to do this more in depth but there are plenty i guarantee there are plenty of videos on youtube where you can look this up and this is merging custom content files merging cc files so currently i have i have a lot of custom content and when you download people always ask me how many files do you have and i always say files don't matter because if you're doing it right and you're merging your files you'll be merging thousands and thousands of files all together into one and you're probably like how do you do that like what you can do that that's the thing yes it is if you go to content management you can merge your packages so as you can probably see in my hairs file i do have some hairs i'm waiting to get a ton before i merge them all again but i have a lot of merged packages in this first hair one file i guarantee you if you were to unmerge it there'd be a lot of hairs in there but what this does it brings together all those files into one and so now your game doesn't have to go in and load up every single darn hair, every single tiny CC file. So this is really going to help your game when it boots it up, when it loads it up. At some point, this isn't a miracle worker. At some point, you gotta admit to yourself, you got way too much custom content, but uh, this definitely helps you out. So what you're gonna do is grab, it. it'll only allow a certain amount, so be mindful of that. But you're going to want to grab all your files, drag them in here, and then click merge. It's That's basically what you're doing. And if you ever want to unmerge them, you can unmerge those files. It's pretty simple. It does take a while to do. I will say that it's time consuming. But then again, having to play Sims with mods and custom content, it's going to be time consuming. I tweeted this out a while ago, but simming with a lot of CC and mods takes organization dedication and some good old patience man so that's up to you now for this next one it's probably not what some of you guys want to hear right now but i'm gonna hit you with that hard truth and that is probably if you're gaming your game is stuttering it's lagging and you have a lot of cc for my CC addicts, you're, you guys are gonna have to cut down. You're gonna have to cut it back a little bit. Start looking at some of the items that you want to keep, you can't live without, and like get rid of some of the stuff that maybe you haven't played with in a good while. It's just, that's, that's the way it's gotta be. I'm sorry to tell you guys. That was happening to me. Currently, I have 53 gigabytes, whoo. And I just did a little bit of a purging. Like it was, it was a little bit, it was, it was good. It was a little bit. And I had to for my old PC. My new PC though, she's good. She's, she's helpful. She's helping me. Um, this relates back to the old one. You can merge a bunch of files, but at some point you gotta admit you got too much and there's so much merging files can do. You're gonna have to cut back. So I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to get rid of some of those custom content items. I know it's hard. And last but not least on this, this is probably one that people don't want to hear. It's probably not one that's so fun, especially when you think about it. And that is that at some point you might want to think about upgrading what it is that you're playing on. You might want to think about upgrading your specs, maybe buying some more RAM for your computer, swapping out that graphics card, getting a graphics card if you don't even have one, looking into gaming computers, I'm going to go ahead and link this channel down below just in case you guys are serious, want a bit more information. This is Wisa. I hope I pronounced her name right. I recently found her channel. She talks a lot, a lot about uh, more on the, the specs side of thing, more of the actual like behind the scenes, computers, PCs. She's got some great videos where she has some pre-built desktop PCs for The Sims 4, if you're looking for some budget stuff, some more high-end stuff. Like, I think she's got a good range and I would check out her videos. I think they're really helpful. So I will leave her link down below. 
but that might be something you guys might want to do somewhere down the line or if you're already looking into it i'm gonna point you in the right direction all right that's all that i have for this video i hope you guys found this helpful i hope it helped in some kind of way leave any comments questions down below and i'll make sure to get back to you guys but that's it for this video and i will see you all in my next one so bye for now